Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to do my 2022 prep work and my goal planner. This is the 2022 power sheets um, from Cultivate What Matters. And right off the top, when I was thinking about my goal ideas for 2022, you know, I want to save money for my sinking funds. Um, I want to save money for my six month emergency fund. It's kind of hard to say what I want left in the sinking funds because it's kind of like that. Those accounts where money is going to come in, but it's going to go back out to cover expenses. But I know for my six month emergency fund, my goal is $20,000. I want to move. I want to at least go on like three trips this year and it's all within the u.s not trying to do anything international um i need to continue to lose weight exercise regularly um i really want to learn how to meditate i'm not sure i might be overthinking meditation <laughs> i tend to do that a lot but i do want to try to put in some time where i am just doing absolutely nothing clearing my mind and my heart in and just focusing on being present and I have a hard time with that um I also want to prioritize my self-care so those were the top goal ideas that I had comparison yeah y'all let's talk about it I know I don't talk about this much and I don't disclose where I tend to compare uh in my own life I always try to make sure that you guys are appreciating yourself and the hard work that you're putting in but I do the same thing I do compare um but for me the three things were finances house and life stage I tend to look at myself and I'm like I'm 47 years old but I don't own a home um I work this job and I should be here I, you know, I look at my coworkers and it's like, and they already there, you know, and sometimes, you know, I do have to say, well, oh, you know, you'll get there. And it's kind of hard because I start feeling down and I'm not appreciating all the work I've taken to clean up all the stuff because I'm looking at the outside of those people. I don't know what's going on in their lives. And so I need to stop doing that. But those are the areas where I do compare, um, where I am and where I think other people are because really I don't know <laughs> some things about myself ways I'm most encouraged um acts of kindness affirming words and quality time I'm not really a huggy person um no <laughs> um, even with my own kids I would ask if they need a hug I don't like just go run up grab it on me and stuff I don't do it so yeah I don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> Um, I want to be known for caring for people, leaving the world a better place, and solving problems. Um, what helps me do my best? Accountability. You guys have seen that with my YouTube channel when I paid off my debt and I had the pay debt with me videos, which I always have to thank Sherry because she was the one who actually asked me to make those videos like almost two years ago. No, it's probably over, a little over two years ago she told me to do that just so y'all could see what was going on, but it gave me an accountability system. So I made those videos so I couldn't play with the numbers. I couldn't mess with stuff behind the scenes and come up with stuff when really I'm out here shopping in Michael's, <laughs> but I'm telling y'all something that an emergency happened, but you know, I would set that budget, go in and do the pay debt with me and y'all got to see all of that. And so that was my accountability system, clear milestones. And I do write a lot. I write a lot down like where I want to be three months from now, six months from now. And then I like to compare where I am to where I thought I was going to be. Um, I like a plan and my plans have backup plans. <laughs> <laughs> but also take a risk and that's kind of weird you know because you would think a risk taker doesn't have a plan but my risks are kind of calculated risk <laughs> everything something gets thrown up in there but if it is like oh, let me let's go redo this let's recalibrate <laughs> i feel motivated when i try something new and i'm challenged or pushed to soar because yes a lot of times like i want to do something and i'll just be mm. but like and y'all saw that when i was uh, studying for my pmp av told me oh in january they're changing this exam and so i was like oh snap <laughs> i need to be done by december i went and scheduled that test and i just doo -doo 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 -doo, and then took that test thank the lord i passed <laughs> but that's how it worked out but really i had all year 
to study for that stuff. I had all that stuff and I just was just sitting on it. Um, how I feel about goals. I want to do it all now and I'm anxious to change my life. So for me, I am one of those people that when I used to set goals, I would try to do everything January through March. Everything right now, right now, right now, right now. It had to be done that way. And then I would get so frustrated because, of course, I couldn't do it all in three months. And that's what I like about um, the power sheets is because you read the prompts and you're told, don't put all these things January and February, which is what I would normally do. So, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> this has really changed the way I do things and I really do like it. And it also allows me to give myself some grace when I'm not doing so well. What do I love? So what fires me up? Um, I love going to the park. I actually like nature. So I like trees and flowers and sounds of water. Um, I, I like that stuff. Now I don't like bugs <laughs> and creepy crawly things and stuff like that. But I do love going to the park. I love spending time with my friends and family. Um, I love visiting historical places. Um, I love reading. I love gift giving. All these things kind of fire me up because there's nothing mellows me out more than when I can get to the park and I am just in my little zone walking around, just looking. I'm taking pictures of trees and stuff. And so like, I just feel so renewed. I don't know what it is about that. But yeah, that is what... mm, Give me my umph. And I think like when paying off debt and I couldn't go nowhere, I'm like, the park is always free. <laughs> so that's probably why I was never bothered by certain things is because it's the small little things that I actually enjoy the most. Um, I can get overwhelmed quickly too, so I don't need too much stimulus. <laughs> so I did check in on eight categories. So I had to evaluate like health and wellness, friends, Focal relationship, family, finances, spiritual and personal growth, uh, work and learning, and recreation. So there was four areas that I wanted to focus on in 2022. I do want to say that you're actually supposed to choose three areas. I chose four. And the reason why was because focal relationships and friends, I tend to do the same thing. Um... I have so much stuff going on in my life. What I will do is I will focus on that and I will totally forget that I haven't checked in on my friends, that I haven't spoken to my friends and one week becomes two weeks, becomes three weeks, become four. And it's that I know three months have passed and I haven't checked in on anybody. Then I'm feeling guilty and I'm, Hey, how you doing? (laughs) I'm so sorry. I'm a bad friend. You know, that's the kind of stuff I'm doing. So I want to do better in the area. I I want to make it a habit. And I don't want to make it a habit like it's an obligation, but it's something that I want to do because I want to make sure that not only do I want support, but I want to make sure that I'm giving support. So I hope that makes sense. Um, Health and wellness and recreation. Um, Those two, to me, they kind of tie together. And because the recreation, if I can get out, um, start out like three days a week, two days a week or something, just start out small, just get out and and do something because I want to be better than I was in 2021. I want to be active. I want to be moving and I know how it makes me feel. And I know I like the way I feel afterwards. So I want to keep doing those activities that encourage me to continue to lose the weight and I'm feeling better. I'm sleeping better. You know, like I just keep building on that. I don't want to regress. And the last area, and I know like you're going to be like, Tracy, that's five, but no, it's because I put friends and folk relationships together as one (laughs) because I suck in both of them. Uh, Finances, it's not that I did bad in 2021. I felt like I gave myself an eight in that area. It's just that things are changing for me now and I got to get into savings mode and I got to get there quickly. And, you know, I just got to do all the things that's going to help me to seed in that area and make sure I have my emergency fund built up. Um, this will be my first time having like an emergency fund where I'll have like $20,000 just sitting out there. You know, I have never experienced that before. And as much as I should be elated, I'm also scared all at the same time. 
So think happy thoughts. <laughs> Good things. Um, what worked in last year? Creating goals and working to achieve them. Updating my goals when I needed to. Realizing that it is okay to scale back because there were times when I needed to scale back. Staying focused on my dreams and working to achieve them. And a lot of times I would tend to put things that for myself on a back burner, especially like when I'm talking to uh, people. And I don't want to call them friends, but I, I will call them friends because I don't have another word. I would tell them my dreams and they'll be poo-pooing them and stuff like that so it kind of makes it hard to be like maybe that's not right you know because they think this is not good enough but yeah I need to focus on what works and not on what other people think um people I'm grateful for my sons of course you know I've always told you guys that they've always been my support system don't matter if I'm screwing up you know they'll be like you can do better than that you know don't do you stop doing that <laughs> you can do better later but you know everything's gonna be okay just calm down everything's all right uh also my youtube and ig community even when i wasn't at my best you guys knew in those videos when i was tired and i was still pushing and still going forward and you guys always with the encouraging words um you you knew what to say that kept me going because there were times i didn't want to <laughs> and that's me being honest um what didn't work in the last year having too many tasks i was over scheduling myself uh being on call for work it's distracting me it's it it, it doesn't provide any challenge right? They wake me up in the middle of the night. I answer the phone. I log into my computer half time. I don't even know what planet I'm on, but I'm working and I'm fixing stuff and I don't even know how I'm doing it. But that's all I do. You know, it doesn't do anything for me. And it's like, could I take that time, get my rest? I don't get the PTO. Now I do like the PTO, but could I take that time, get my rest and apply a fresher me to my channel, to my IG, to my business like can i use that time another way by getting some rest (laughs) and also strict diets i tend to become overwhelmed and i quickly just start stress eating because it'll work and then it'll stop working and then i get frustrated and they say you know i'm like well i'm gaining weight and i ain't even did nothing and i might as well just go on here and get me some cookies so i don't want to do that i want to stay on where i am right now with the mindful eating because that is working for me um what i learned respect my time my boundaries and understand my limits a lot of times i will push myself to you know and and i'll hit that limit i'll hit that wall and so there i have been some times where i couldn't even get up out of the you know i couldn't get out of the bed because i was so exhausted because i had been just burning it at both ends and it's not good for me um so some the next thing is about limiting beliefs and and self-talk you know how sometimes we talk ourselves down and we say we can't do this or we've been told we can't do that too so in this area what lies have you believed about yourself or your life so they are i can't work for myself i can't be an entrepreneur i don't have enough time dot, dot, dot. <laughs> i'm too tired to do that 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 um buying a home may not be for me so um whew, i said it <laughs> now your weakness can become your strengths so what would happen if you flip the script on the lies you believed um i will become a homeowner and i'll actually own some land around my house so the house that i envision has land around it and not a lot but enough that i don't have to hear people yelling and cutting up um i will accomplish the task that i need that will propel propel me forward in my business um i know where i want it to go and I can, I have to put forth the effort to do it. And I need to make this the year that I start to just spend the time learning how to run a business, how to do these things right and investing in myself. Um, I will be fit and I'll be happier and healthier um, in 2022 if I put forth that time and stop 
stop undermining myself and stop letting food and stress control me. I'm moving past fear. I fear, uh, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I fear overcommitting myself because I don't want to disappoint others. Um, I fear saying no to others because I don't want to disappoint them. And if I were to step into my fears and take action, I would feel free to accomplish what I want in life without guilt. And that has been something I've been working on since 2020. Um, I think we talked about a time where I had something really good had happened to me and I had got a raise and my friend just blew up. (laughs) And I felt really bad about what good was happening for me. And then it took me a while to realize my career aspirations and the things I had done had absolutely nothing to do with her. And it came to me by way of another friend. And so it's just like, how did she tie this into her and where I owed her something? And I had to like, uh uh-uh, this ain't for me. This is her baggage. Release. (laughs) And that's something I still have to work on is some friends have to be fed through a long handle spoon. Thank you, Grandma. (laughs) The big picture. Um... When I look back on my life, what will have mattered? The time I put in with my family and friends that bring us closer, um, that I straighten out my finances and I can leave a legacy for my um, sons and my future grandkids. Yay. Uh, and that I started on my business. So I actually started. I actually did. Ah! <laughs> what won't have mattered? The time it took me to clean up my finances, that won't matter. Um, the time it took me to actually start my business. Yes, I got discouraged by going to the small business association and having this man just rip apart my little idea, but that won't matter. He doesn't matter. Uh, the amount of time I spent making other people wealthy, meaning that, you know, I put in a lot of hours at my job. What if I start pouring some of that into myself? Um, Knowing what will matter to me, describe the kind of person that I want to be. What character traits do I hope will shine in myself? So I said a woman with integrity, loving, humble, helpful, grateful for all of my blessings, creative, talented, and giving. So those, that's what I want to be. (laughs) That's what I identify as in 2022. So the next two pages in the power sheets it's like page 18 and 19 it's the big picture vision and living out this year so i'm going to kind of read from left to right going across the eight categories so my big picture vision for health and wellness is i want to be fit i want to be within a healthy weight range for my height Um, i want to be active and i want to control my eating um how do i see myself carrying this out in this year how can i live like this year is i want to continue mindful eating i want to find ways to handle my stress eating i gotta i gotta find there has to be something that can help me control when things are getting out of control for me like get up and walk or something else there's something i can do um to get a handle on that Focal relationships. I want to find a balance. And I guess this is going to be focal relationships and friends. I want to find a balance that works for us. I want to be a considerate partner and friend to um, my friend group. Um, Open discussions. Find out what works for us both. Talking to them. How do they feel? You know, like when I kind of disconnect, what could I say to let them know, hey, I need a little time for myself to handle certain things. Um, And, you know, understanding and then making sure I'm a better friend. Nobody's complaining, but you know, I want to kind of get a jump on that because I don't want to lose really good people in my life because I am focused on myself. Family. I want to maintain my relationships with my sons while respecting their boundaries. Okay. Um, I have a really good relationship with my kids. Uh, we talk all the time. They are my world. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I know I just laugh, but really they are. Um, and so I want to make sure that 
in 2022, I'm keeping my schedule open because they're adults. And so really I'm on their time now. So when they say, hey, you want to do X, it's just like, bye y'all. Got to go hang out with the boys. <laughs> We're going to go watch Demon Slayer. <laughs> um, finances. Um, I want to be financially independent. I don't mind working, um, but I don't want to need to work. I want to work because I want to. And I want to work because I love what I'm actually doing. And actually in my career, I actually love what I'm doing. I just do want to say that. I love what I do. I just don't want to need it. You know what I'm saying? But I, and I also want to do those things that I always wanted to have. So I want to work on that too. Um, how I'm going to live that out in 2022. This is going to be tough as far as the goal setting, but I want to grow my YouTube, grow my business, uh, grow my IG. And I want to save for my future. I want to make sure that I am taken care of. I never want to put myself in a position where I am a burden on my sons. I want to make sure I have done all the things that I need to do. So when those decisions need to be made for me, they know, oh, she put this here for this. This is ours. You know, like they know where everything is. They know how to do it because mom has handled the business. <laughs> and so I need to get on it in 2022. Make sure I grow. I take care of YouTube. I treat it as a business. I handle my business, treat it as, as a business. And um doing all the things right way, right? I got to work on that. Lots to learn. Uh, work and learning. I'm always learning. I've never been a person where I am stagnant. I love learning um, new things. It, 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 I do things and sometimes it gets me caught up. So I'm always learning. And that as far as work is concerned, even my new director is like, you're doing this, but you're also doing that. You know, they're working against one another. <laughs> and so it kind of keeps me stuck. And I hear it, I hear it, and I'm processing and trying to figure out how to do it. But I have to do what needs to be done to help propel my team for it, right? Um, do the things that keep me on my path of growth. And that's where you see that I am actually doing some things that work against one another because I have a skill set and my skill set. I do development, I do project management, I do my business analysis, I also do my design, I do all these things. And so um, now I'm going to be doing some more development to kind of help my team as something retires, get us <laughs> moving forward. So in 2022, I want to make sure I get my PDUs for my PMP certification, get her done. I want to make sure I get all of them, I want to finish them up. Um, I have the platform, I have... I got the access. I think they paid some money for me to do these classes. So I need to get on it, you know, and stop the, cut my crap. <laughs> um, and so I am still going to be pushing uh, with my manager. I still want to manage my projects. I still want to do my PM roles. I don't mind doing the development, but he can't take that away. It ain't going to work. <laughs> it just ain't going to work. Spiritual and personal growth. I want to make time to meditate. I want to learn more about like morning routines and, and evening routines and things like that. I hear people talking about it, but I don't really understand about anything about it. So if y'all got any suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. Any books, or anything that I can uh, read, uh, understand how. Maybe I'm overthinking this, but I really do need to find a way to center myself and kind of calm down and kind of be where I am. Um, and so, yeah, in 2022, <laughs> I wrote Learn Meditation Techniques in the final book to help me. So, yeah, I'm asking y'all, help us with that. <laughs> so, because I don't know what it is. Um, and I'm quite sure I can Google it and, and find some things. But I do need to have a morning routine and I need to find a way just to decompress. Uh, recreation. I want to get out, get some fresh air regularly. I want that to just be a lifestyle for me that I do. I just hop out, I go um, in the park, I'm doing the things. Um, so in 2022, my goal is to just move. Even if I have to deal with the weather outside, just to get out, to start small and to just keep moving. I've been doing pretty good in 2021, but I want to make this kind of like a lifestyle. It's something that I get out. Maybe I join a walking group. I used to belong to a walking running group. So maybe I need to see if they still have those and join a group. So help myself out in that area. So my cultivated year, 
what I'm saying yes to. I'm saying yes to making time for myself, putting the time into my business, uh, self-care, using my time wisely. I really need to work on that. Getting out, exercising, mindful eating, mindful eating, protecting my space and peace of mind, having fun, and exploring new opportunities. Uh, What I'm saying no to, doing on call at work. It's just been a thing. It's like, oh, I'm going to do this January thing. And then I think that's going to be the last one. Uh, spending too much time dreaming and not working. Uh, procrastinating. <laughs> uh, prioritizing others' wants over my needs. Um, feeling guilty about preserving my space and my sanity. Um, making excuses not to exercise. I'm saying no to eating. Overeating. Not eating. Overeating. <laughs> It's stress eating and just generally just not taking care of myself. And so the last thing I did as my prep for my intentional year, and then after that, we will be getting down into let's set the goals, but it won't be in this video because I think it's all more like 30 minutes right now, but it's my name is Tracy. I am excited. I am capable of change and I'm deciding that I can. The areas of my life that most need to be cultivated are friends, focal relationship, health and fitness, uh, finances, <laughs> health and finances. I'm sorry. In the past, I've been afraid to work for myself, but now I'm ready to explore what it can bring. Uh, my legacy starts today. In the big picture, what will matter is creating and maintaining healthy relationships. These traits will shine in me, honesty, integrity, creativity, charitable, humble, and loving. Um, I'll start living my big picture vision this year by taking care of myself, my physical, and my emotional well-being. Um, I will do this little by little with big leaps along the way. I want to make what matters happen because I want to be able to be around and healthy for those I love. Um, I will live this year by saying yes to self-care, exercising, and time management, um, and saying no to things that drain me. I will let go of feeling that I will disappoint others and fill my life with more activities that nourish me. I'm ready let's do it <laughs> so yes that's my intentional year thank y'all for listening i know this is a super 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 long video y'all could pause it at any time and you know write out some of these things and that help you prep for your 2022 goals if y'all know anything about morning routine some good books i can read and learn about meditation maybe some apps i need to put on my phone uh y'all just let me know um in the comment section below and thank y'all so much y'all have a super fantastic day if this is the last video that you guys get to see before christmas if you observe the holiday merry christmas um you didn't get my grocery haul video because y'all i didn't turn the light on <laughs> so literally i did a grocery haul and the video was dark as all get out ah. <laughs> Oh, but y'all didn't know until I uploaded. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I didn't turn the light on. But yeah, I messed up. So Friday, I probably won't be on YouTube. I won't have a video on Friday. I am going to do my weekly check-in on Thursday. I found out on Monday that I have company coming in town and they're going to get here on Friday. And so they're going to be here Friday, Saturday, and I think Sunday. And they're leaving out on Monday. So I'm not going to have a lot of time um, to make a couple more videos and stuff. So I'm going to close out my weekly check-in and contribute to my um, savings challenges and have those videos scheduled. So they go out on Saturday and Sunday. So just understand that you're not going to see no spins on Friday and Saturday because I'm going to close out on Thursday. So that way I can get that video to you guys and I don't put a gap in um the way my stuff releases so but thank y'all so much and y'all have happy holiday season <sighs> new year is right around the corner and hopefully hopefully i can get my goals set up so i can at least show y'all what goals i want to take care of in 2022 and y'all have a great one i'll talk to y'all later bye